Good morning, everyone. My name is Chrissy, and this is Everyday Tippets. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a Walmart grocery haul for you. So, I'm going to tell you all the Weight Watchers personal points, and I'm going to show you what I have been eating to lose weight. I am down 36 pounds. Today was weigh in day, and I'm feeling so much better than I ever have before, substituting out all the bad things in my diet for really fresh vegetables and fruits and lean cuts of meat. So, I'm going to show you what I have in my order for today. Okay, I have some stuff over here, and I have some stuff over here. It's not a very big haul today, but we'll start over here. So I have some potatoes. On my plan, potatoes are free for me, so I'm probably going to make like a mashed potato bowl for my daughter and I, like the mock KFC bowl. Um, if you want to check that out on my Instagram, I will show you what goes into that. Um, I love the Roma tomatoes because they have less water, so there's not like a soggy tomato -y mess on my salads. So I got some Roma tomatoes. Um, I got a big box of spring mix because I've been throwing like a handful of salad onto all of my plates to get my extra vegetables and greens and earn my points back. Salad cucumbers. I love to cut these up and add them to bowls as well. My daughter loves this cold brew coffee. So I got two of these for her. And this is a um, Sugar-free creamer, she likes the sugar-free creamer. For one tablespoon, it's zero points. For two to three, it's two points. And then after three three tablespoons, it goes up. So, but I usually, I usually put either Premier Protein or almond milk in my coffee. My daughter likes that. So I love this, it tastes so good, but I am trying my best to keep my points on my coffee as low as possible because I don't like to drink my points, I like to eat them. <laughs> so. I got two bags of this vegetable medley. They usually have a big bag, but they were out, so I just got two. And I like to pan roast these. It's just a medley of broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. And I found that a delicious seasoning blend to put on this is curry powder, salt, and pepper. So good. And then you just roast it at 400 for like 15 minutes or so, or 20 minutes, depending on how roasted you like. But that is delicious and so full of flavor. So that's a good way to earn your points back. I got a bag of frozen kernel corn because this will go in the KFC bowls and my daughter loves corn, so I got that. I got two bags of frozen broccoli florets. I am like a stickler for like habit, I guess. And if I need a broc if I need a, a vegetable side, broccoli is like my fail safe go to. Like I'll throw that in the microwave, add a cup of broccoli and just season it up however I'm feeling like seasoning it that day. This is the bread my daughter likes for her lunch. Um, it's three points for one slice or seven points for two. I don't usually go for this bread because it's a little higher in points for me, but my daughter likes it. It makes a really good sandwich. The slices are really thick and it's just, it's a good bread. Um, I like to snack, so I'm trying to find like a snack that I can have more of for less points, or I can make like a little, you know, snack cup and bring it to work. I got these good thins. The Simply Salt, I wanted the veggie flavor, but they didn't have it, so they substituted it out. You can have 18 of these for four points. These are my absolute favorite. I love these. They're so good. They're full of flavor, and they're not really that spicy, but they're so delicious. You can have 25 of these for five points. And then when I was doing my grocery order, I saw these. I wanted to try them. I've never tried the jalapeno or the cheddar jack. Like, I'm not a spicy person, but the hot and spicy ones were, were perfect. So I wanted to try these. You can actually have 26 of these for five points. There's a difference in the points. I'm not really sure why, but they're about the same. So up here, I got my turkey tenderloin. If you know, you know. I love this. I make this all the time in the air fryer. How I do that is I either marinate it or season it, whatever I'm in the mood for, whatever I have on hand for the day. Then I throw it in the air fryer for 20 minutes at 390. Then I flip it and then cook it at 390 for another 15 minutes and it comes out perfectly. So this is zero points. It's a really good lean meat and it always comes out juicy that way. Ground turkey breast, 99. This is actually 98%, but 98 or 99% fat-free turkey breast is zero points per serving. And I've been making like turkey burgers and just portioning them out, weighing them on the scale for about a four ounce turkey burger patty with um, a quarter cup of breadcrumbs and one egg and some burger seasoning. I'll mix that up and then I'll make burgers and I throw them in the fridge so that I could chop them up for bowls or have them on a burger bun, whatever. But I have these prepped a lot in my refrigerator. I was craving steak. Steak is very high in points, so I don't eat it often. 
I picked up a good size New York strip so that I can maybe grill it and share it with my daughter because she does like steak as well. Three ounces for six points. So one steak will be good for the two of us. And so I picked up that. Eggs. I go through eggs like crazy because they are zero point food for me. Um, you know, we always have eggs in the house and I needed, I needed to replenish our supply. I don't know if I showed you this, but I also got a two pound bag of carrots. Carrots are considered a non-starchy food on the Weight Watchers plan. I always have like a cup of carrots a day. I bring carrots to work so that I can have a snack and then I can earn a point back for the day. So I always have carrots on hand. My daughter also likes these in her lunchbox. So that is this side of the room. Oh, sorry guys. I also got apples. I put them on my fruit bowl already. Um, Honeycrisp apples, those are our favorite. That's also a zero point food for me. And then I got a bunch of bananas. I usually get six at a time that last for the week between me and my daughter. Bananas are also a zero point food for me. So, okay, on this end of the kitchen, I have my peppers. I love these. I cut these up in my eggs and that like one pepper is usually a cup's worth that earns me a point back and it adds delicious flavor and color to the dish. I love it. Um, I got two things of taco seasoning because I was going to probably either make tacos or my steak tonight for dinner, depending on what my daughter wants to eat. Um, the taco shells, it's five points for two of them. And if we use the turkey meat, that's zero. And all the vegetables we're going to add are zero. And, you know, I have fat-free mozzarella in the fridge for a quarter of a cup. It's one point. So it'll be six points for two huge tacos. That's a really good... You know, we'll do some maybe fat-free refried beans on the side. Those are zero, and and brown rice is zero, so we can add that as well. Um, I love the Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse seasoning. It's one of my favorite seasonings. I love that on eggs. I put that pretty much on a lot of stuff. And then they have this seasoned wood fire garlic um, hardwood smoke flavor. I love garlic. I love anything smoked, so I wanted to try that. Taco seasoning mix artichoke hearts these are zero points and you earn back points for these because they're non-starchy vegetable i throw these in my bowls and my salad so i needed that and then peanut butter sometimes at night if i have a lot of points left over and i'm craving something sweet i'll just spoon a tablespoon of peanut butter and i'll just eat it off the spoon this is to reduce fat one tablespoon is three points if you want two which is the serving on the back that's six points I don't know, six points is a lot, but one point satisfies my sweet tooth and, you know, it's three points. I needed some face wash. I've been using the salicylic acid. Um, I just started using it uh, for my aging skin. So I wanted to try this because I was out of the CeraVe, 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 I don't know. I wanted to try this one. So that's the one I got. So that's it, guys. That's my grocery haul for today. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate your support. If you could, please hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time I post. Follow me on Instagram at everyday underscore tidbits and Facebook at everyday tidbits because I would love for you to be a part of my YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook family. I hope everyone's being safe and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.